Zilingo, a high-profile fashion technology startup backed by Singaporean state-owned investor Tomasic Holdings and Sequoia Capital India, has sidelined its communications director, adding to signs of an internal rift at the company amid an ongoing internal accounting probe. Nwashiba Salahuddin, who heads external communications for the Singapore-based company, has been suspended from using her Zilingo email account as well as the company's public relations email account on April 27, according to an email seen by Forbes Asia. Salahuddin, who was also said to have been barred from using Zilingo's internal communications platform, was informed by the board that her emails to various third parties were detrimental to the best interests of the company, the message shows. Zilingo did not respond to a request for comment. The board's latest action comes as Zilingo is expected this week to wrap up the ongoing internal accounting probe. A $200 million fundraising round managed by Goldman Sachs in February had sparked questions among investors as to how the startup looks revenue from its clients. Zilingo said its major investors had authorized the board to suspend co-founder Inkiti Bose from her duties as chief executive officer pending the outcome of the investigation. Any question of a change in management is speculative and premature at this stage, the company's statement said on April 20th. Tomasek, one of Zilingo's biggest shareholders, had earlier expressed support for the investigation. We expect our portfolio companies to abide by sound corporate governance and codes of conduct and ethics, Tomasek said in April. We are therefore supportive of the board's investigation into the complaint as part of good governance, to safeguard the interests of the company. Zilingo was co-founded in 2015 by Bose alongside Ruth Kapoor, Zilingo's chief technology and chief product officer.